Hi everyone. Uh, we're just going to wait a few minutes to let everyone join. So just hold on one or two minutes and we're going to start uh, just now at a minute or two. Everyone again, uh, thanks for joining. We're just gonna need a few minutes so everyone can join in. We're gonna be starting in about a minute. All right, it's now three minutes of the hour, after the hour, so we're gonna begin. Thanks everyone again for joining. Uh, I'm Ilan, product manager at Stafi. I'm with Sam from GoSTR here, who's joining me today. Uh, just a few statistics before we get started. Um, there's a gearbox here on the, um, mm -hmm. here on the Zoom. So please feel free to drop any questions there as we go through a webinar. We'll try to get them. Uh, to them either live or at the end. We're also going to save some time at the end for a Q&A session. So any other questions that you have, you can get to them at the end. Uh, other than that, uh, not much more. So we're just going to get started. Uh, in case uh, you're not familiar with Stafi, uh, just a quick intro. Our mission is to help every short-term rental operator build a vibrant independent brand that's more profitable and that basically is not dependent on OTAs. We do that mostly through our main product, which is Wi-Fi marketing, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more in depth in a few minutes. Um, but the idea is that we help you collect data, build a brand, and target uh, to your guests uh, so that you become a uh, present in the mind of your guests and people remember that they stayed at your place and not just a generic uh, Airbnb. Now I'm just going to hand it over to Sam. All right, Ivan, thanks so much. Uh, so again, I'm Sam with GoSTR Marketing. And as you can see, our mission and in, in our approach here, basically I wanna help fellow operators and guests, and this is how we do it, right? So GoSTR Marketing, this whole thing was really kind of an accident. Um, I come from an enterprise IT background and I learned the STR business from STR Secrets Mastermind. It's a side hustle. So I did 12 hosting and co-hosting deals my first 12 months. Um, I then retired from my W-2 to launch 18 in 18 months. So now without the W-2, I had the headspace to really scale my SDR business. So I knew the easiest and lowest hanging fruit to do that was email and text marketing because I already had the most valuable resource, past guest data, thanks to folks like StayFi. So I knew that direct bookings would be more profitable for me, <clears throat> but I didn't have the systems, processes, procedures after checkout to guide my guests by the hand back to my direct booking site. It's like my direct booking site was on an island and uh, I wanted it to be on a shelf, wanted everybody to look at it. But then after a few months it was made, nobody looked at it because they didn't know where it was. Okay, so I had to show and take my guests by the hand and show them where they could book again with me. So I was like, look, I got to find an easy and scalable way to do this. So I looked and looked 
everything I found boiled down to two buckets, either one, the do-it-yourself model. Um, I didn't have time for that. Or the other option was just the super expensive options, like tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars for an email blast. And it didn't make sense to me. So then that's when I got the band back together from my IT uh, relationships, developers, designers, engineers. I created a solution for my business. I gave my STR business operations to my wife, Kelsey, and my VA team, and they did a fantastic job while I was over here building this revenue machine. And so I built that, put it in our business, and uh, it had such an impact. I showed it to uh, uh, my good friend, Michelle. Uh, and she was also an STR operator, great realtor in Galveston, by the way. But anyway, I uh, showed it to her. We used her and a few others as a beta group. And I can recall just seeing uh, her response whenever we marketed to her guests and, and they replied so quickly. And so it worked. And then so that was, you know, she helped my inspiration to show this to other STR operators uh, like you guys. So I had confidence in the performance. And so partnering with folks like StayFi is really where you can uh, exponentially scale your business. So happy to be here. Thanks, Ivan. Awesome. Thank you for that, Emperor. Uh, so first thing I want to talk about is maximizing your guest list. So uh, we can convert them to uh, repeat bookers. So basically the, the steps to get your guests into repeat bookers are, or what we're going to talk about today is like these four steps. First, collect guest, guest data. There's many different sources that we're going to walk through, but there's uh, many sources that you can tap, tap into to remember and get in touch again with every single person that stays at your uh, different properties. Next, uh, make sure that while they're with you, you provide a great experience. Uh, Some was just saying the best source for a, uh, for a direct booker is a repeat booker. It's someone who's already stayed with you uh, and you can get, get, get them to stay with you again. Competing with an OTA for a first time booker uh, through search engines and discovery can be very expensive, very, very difficult, but someone who already stayed with you once, if you can provide a great experience, uh, getting them back, that's what you should be aiming to. Uh, providing a, guess, a great experience while they are with you that first time is key to get them to come back. Next, with all that data that you have been collecting, it's key to market to them. Like make them remember you, make them like know who you are, make them aware so that the time that they decide to go on their next vacation, you are top of mind and you are who they're going to go to, uh, to find their stay. And lastly, offer instant incentives. And Sam's going to talk a little bit more about this, but why they should, they want to stay with you. Why should they do this through, through your data booking capabilities and not through uh, an OTA? There should be an incentive uh, to do that. So first, build your, your guest list. Make sure you type you, you tap into every possible source uh, to remember or keep track of who has stayed with you. First, more so is place to do this is reservation data. From your PMS, you're gonna get either with if it's Logify or whatever PMS, you're gonna get um you're gonna get a list of every person that stayed. Uh, with you, and that's the first place where you should be collecting data. Next, um, which is the first uh, the main product that we are offering as Wi-Fi. Uh, you can use Wi-Fi to collect data, not just from the booker, but from every single guest that stays at your property. So say you have a big property that can sleep anywhere from four, eight, 16 people. Uh, your PMS will only give you, if at all, the data for one of them. Uh, but through Wi-Fi, you can collect the email of every single one of them. So you can create, you can really grow your data exponentially. And many times the decision maker for the next vacation is not going to be the one who booked this one. It's going to be any other person who had a great time there. So make sure that, I mean, it's, it's a great way to grow your list and get in touch with other potential uh, future guests that stayed with you, even if they were not the ones who made the initial reservation. Another great way to do this is through uh, website sign up forms. So if you have a data booking website or you have like your own brand with its website, there are ways to embed 
uh, sign up from there. So if you have some widget that says, or pop up that says, leave your email here, sign up for our newsletter, get in touch with us. That's a place that you'll be surprised how many emails you can collect that way. And lastly, social media. If you have a strong presence uh, in Facebook, uh, Instagram, now TikTok, TikTok is getting really trendy these days. Uh, and you can even like grow uh, your brand there with uh, reviews that your guests uh, can leave, or you can like stay continually in touch, grow your brand with posts, news, or anything of the like. Uh, it's another source that you should not underestimate and that will help you grow your list and market to your, to your guests later. Uh, just telling a little bit more on Wi-Fi experience, on Wi-Fi marketing, in case you're not familiar with it, uh, how it works. Uh, it works very similarly to what you would see on an airport, on an airplane, uh, on a Starbucks, even a hotel. Uh, when the guest wants to go into their Wi-Fi, they will find the network that you tell them. And then instead of having to input a password, they will import the data. So name, last name, email, phone, if you want to collect those, those as well. And then all that data is going to go uh, to your database. So you stay, you get all the data and a marketing consent with it so that you can then retarget that, uh, that database in the future. The next, the next thing that happens is that once they connect to the Wi-Fi, you have the choice of where to redirect them. And we uh, have this feature called the homepage where we redirect every single person to this kind of like link tree uh, page that is branded uh, to your to your brand and specific to your property where you can share all the information that's relevant to your property. Uh, and that this is, so you can share your guidebook, you can share local recommendations, you can share amenities, you can share up, upsells. And this is part of making that um, that really enhanced guest, guest experience that we were talking about before. So it's that this first step, they get into the property. First thing they do, everybody does is connect to the Wi-Fi. They see your brand for the first time. Right after that, you're providing relevant information, you're providing services. Uh, all of this is like on the face of every single guest. And then because you collected the email, you can follow up with email automation, so you can tell your guests all this information. Hi, back here, like, welcome to my property. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Here's your homepage. Here's like all the relevant information. Here's like everything you can do at the property. Uh, and of course, here's my book again link if you want to like stay with us again. Um, again, this Wi Fi. Uh, homepage feature is what you can use to elevate your guests' experience. Things you can do here and how you can leverage these upsells. Uh, they have like too many advantages. One, they are they enhance your guest experience because there are amenities that maybe they don't expect they're going to be able to get in. Uh, in a short-term rental, you can offer, and we have different partners that do this, but. You can offer a massage, you can offer a private chef. You can use this to offer early chicken and late checkout, uh, flower delivery, whatever you can think of. And also it's gonna make you money. Like all those things are incremental revenue. So in an industry that tends to have lower margins, any source of incremental revenue that also has particularly high margins because it's like early check-in, uh, late checkout, that's all profit. It's a good way of like um, getting that, promoting that and increasing the sales of those services. Also the fact that you can share essential information, put a guidebook here, uh, put local recommendation, those not necessarily bring more um, more revenue, but do enhance uh, the, the experience of the guest. Imagine you just get to a property, maybe in a place that you don't really know, you look into Wi-Fi and the first thing that you get is like, what can I do here? Like, how do I work the pool? How do I do this and this and that? That's part of this unexpected experience that you can provide. That's gonna make make them remember your brand and the experience that they had uh, there. Uh, just even a little bit more on these upsets that I was talking about. 
uh, we work with uh, two companies that you can very easily integrate and offer this like very seamlessly. One is the Hosco. They uh, offer hotel-like experiences. So other than the extensions and alterations, anything from private chef, massage, flower delivery, uh, personal trainers, uh, and any of the like. That is really like pre, um, pre filled in the stores that we automatically create for your properties based on your zip code. Adding these stores is free. So very, very easy based on address. We create a store for every single one of your properties. This get added to your home pages and it's basically passive income that you make. The other one, uh, and the other thing that you can do with the Hosco is that if you have your own inventory of services that you offer, like firewood, mid stay cleaning, uh, pool heating, you can add those as well and make your own mar margins on them. Uh, the other one is Viator. You might have heard of this. It's part of uh, TripAdvisor. Um, it's basically an affiliate program. So you can choose whatever activities in your area you want to promote to your guests. They have a worldwide uh, inventory of activities, whatever uh, your guests end up buying through Viator, whether it's one of the uh, activities that you offered or any other one that they buy within 30 days, you'll get a commission back for having referred them there. Uh, and again, other than the revenue itself, what you're trying to do with this is provide a good uh, guest experience. Now, what about this? I'm gonna hand it back to my, uh, back to some. Thanks, Ivan. So look, it's an active hustle to keep STR passive income rolling in. I'm an operator, I get it, right? So, and as professional operators, we've got repeatable systems from booking to checkout. But what about after checkout SOPs, standard operating procedures, right? Consistent processes lead to success. So when creating a rebooking campaign, okay, and we're gonna talk about text marketing and email marketing right now and leveraging StayFi to collect those contacts for you to move forward with that gold standard of what we call it of guest rebooking campaign. So whenever, we re whenever we're creating a rebooking campaign, we need to step back from the operations part. And I know it's tough, but we need to consider a guest perspective when creating the content, right? So personally, as a guest, you know, if I'm traveling, I can reason myself into returning to a place I loved with very little help, right? To make it easy for me to get in contact with you, to book my next stay, done, right? Now, on the other side of the coin, as an STR operator, after a guest checkout, you know, I did not have the time to create consistent communication to turn that one-time guest into a loyal repeat, you know, guest of mine. So, you know, what I would do is I'd fire off one or two emails after uh, they check out and then I'd get distracted. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys in on how we found success messaging guests after their checkout. So we first send a text to guests about a week after checkout. So we have time to tag the bad guests in our PMS and stay fine. And we're going to offer those good guests a 10% loyalty discount uh, on their next stay with us and add that to not paying that 15% Airbnb fees, that can be like a 25% discount towards the guest if they book their next trip with us within the next 30 days. So after they opt in that text message, okay, and they say they are interested, we then send them another text message with an email simultaneously. They're going to see the text first, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But, um, you know, that text directs them to an email for a message with a loyalty coupon. So uh, they're going to see that, read the email, and then two weeks later, then we're going to send another text simultaneous with an email, okay? And then that messaging goes out reminding them of their offer. Look, it's about to expire. We're in a few weeks. Uh, we're just bubbling to the bubbling this message to the top of your inbox. Uh, we'd love to have you again, okay? So then two weeks later, we send a new text 
and a new email inviting them to explore our portfolio, right? So we have more properties available in addition to the one you stayed at because as many of you guys may know, most guests only think we have that one property that they stayed at. And so they'd love to check out our other places. I mean, cross marketing is huge uh, for different markets. So after that, 30 days later, okay? So now we're at a month cadence. A month later, we're sending them another text and email. So now it's text and email every time we contact them every 30 days. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that again in the next slide or two. So we're inviting them now uh, you know, to understand us as a host, why we got in to short-term rentals. That's interesting to people. You know, We're creating rapport. We're creating a personal connection with our brand. We're branding ourselves with our company. Okay. And so a month later, let's say maybe it's a 10% off again, this time during shoulder and slow seasons. A month after that, uh, a message comes out about your favorite restaurant. So with the image of the best dishes, um, a little write up below that image and you know a live link so they can actually go to that restaurant website. So the messaging needs to be consistent and it needs to give value. So whenever I say give value, value is not always just in giving away the farm, right? We don't need to uh, just throw discounts at them all the time. So knowledge is sharing value too. So think about it. Like if you ever go on vacation and you know, you're at a restaurant or a bar and you end up just talking to the guy next to you and he's a local and he tells you about, you know, local hotspots off the beaten path places, you know, local restaurants that you may not know about events. Uh, that's cool. That's knowledge, right? So, so that's giving value too. In addition to the discounts as well, right? So the loyalty discounts, um, no Airbnb fees, you know, let them know that. So it's just rounding out your value proposition. So uh, in, in probably one of the most, if not the most important thing is just to be consistent, right? Stay relevant. <laughs> Don't pester people. A lot of email marketers send out emails every one or two weeks and that's perfectly fine. But now since we're sending out text messages and emails, Put yourself in, in their perspective. So what would you think if someone you did, dis, you did business with this week sends you a text message next week? And then the week after that sends you another text message. And then the week after that sends you another text message, right? I mean, that's uh, how many emails do you get a day versus how many text messages do you get a day? So, you know, thinking about that, taking a step back, you know, I, I'd argue that email marketing maybe has lost some impact because most people get a ton of emails today compared to more personal text messages to people they have a personal relationship with. So we remember we wanna be relevant, we wanna be respectful, keep folks from opting out. That's why we like that 30 day cadence after we get them uh, you know, in touch with them right after they check out. And always again to pay attention to the times you send messages to, nothing before 10 a.m., nothing after 8 a.m. So, all right. Okay, so now we're looking at some stats. So these are benchmarks, guys. This is, these are statistics that we should strive for whenever it comes to your STR marketing efforts, okay? These are good SMS and email marketing benchmarks when comparing your marketing campaign to the hospitality industry standard as reported by Campaign Monitor, okay? Um, so like the number on the left, the 98% SMS open rate, and then the two numbers on the right. Okay, so on the left, it's like looking at SMS marketing. And then to the right, it's looking at those two numbers. It's like looking at text marketing and then email marketing separately in two vacuums because they're very similar, but two totally different beasts. Okay, so 98% text message open rate. Yeah, people are on their phones all day, right? That's, that's a no brainer. 20% uh, email open rate. So that means if you send out 100 emails, um, a good benchmark to see, to report on is if they open 20 emails. So 20% um, of the emails you send that your guest opens. And then click rates. So that is um, if you send out 100 emails and you have a link to your direct booking site in that email, if one person out of 100 clicks in you know, clicks your direct booking site, that's considered successful uh, in the hospitality standards. So um, those are just 
you know, again, those uh, marketing uh, platforms in a vacuum, right? SMS marketing and then email marketing. And then as Ivan goes on to show here, this is going to be what <clears throat> uh, SMS and email combination campaign can do for you, right? So this is using SM excuse me, SMS text messaging uh, simultaneous with email marketing, okay? So why is this what we call here the gold standard in rebooking campaigns? You're sending a text message with a 98% open rate, okay, that 90% of people read within three minutes. And that person that you're sending it to, it, they've given you a good review, okay? You're directing them to look for value in their email, okay? You say, look, here's, a, here's another coupon. You don't have to pay, <laughs> you know, Airbnb rates. We just sent this to you. This is what to look for. You know, you've already shown them value, okay? And now you're showing them more value by offering them a way to explore more of your portfolio, take fun vacations and pay less. No brainer, right? So this is how you can like literally triple industry standard open rates and smash direct booking site clicks, helping drive your, your SEO. Okay, so uh, this is what we do. So, so um, again, you can do this too. Um, you know, like I told you before, that that's a little bit of how we do it. Um, again, you can definitely do it yourself. So 40% um, email open rate is our average. I mean, we see 60, 70% all the time. <clears throat> but um, the real key here is consistent communication. That's where most of us, that's where I did. That's where I fell off. And so uh, in really quick, the last thing I want to note here is look at in the middle of this click rate, okay? So people are 10xing the industry standard click rate. That's 700% more than the industry standard using the gold standard strategy. So that means we know guests are clicking on their direct booking site links in their marketing emails, okay? And so you know it's working. And as a result, it's also boosting your direct book site, uh, excuse me, direct booking website, SEO, helping your Google rankings. All right. And then this is all great, right? I mean, we're, we're talking about all the good stuff, like all the, all the sunshine and the rainbows of marketing, right? But um, this is something that not a lot of people out there in uh, social media and influencers really talk a lot about whenever you're getting into this marketing stuff. And it's critical to know this. So there are a lot of new regulations around SMS and email marketing. Why is that? Because it's so powerful, okay? So just think of it as... Uh, it fell in, this whole type of marketing fell into the wrong hands, you know, uh, and, and bad guys were blasting millions of messages, like literally per day, okay? And uh, if you think about it, yeah, it's like text spam and email spam got out of hand. It's gotten a little bit better, um, it, but this is why. But um, people are still finding a way around it, but there's nowhere near what it was, okay? And the reason is major phone and email, excuse me, phone carriers and email providers got together and compiled a compliance checklist, okay? The SMS marketing regulation is called A2P 10 DCL compliance, blah, 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 right? I get it. So what does that mean? <laughs> so that means you have to have a phone number tied to the EIN of your business. You have to apply for approval. Then you have to get approved by a governing body. Every time you go up for approval, it's $25. You can get rejected, but you have to apply again, and that's $25, okay? So um, some people get tangled up in that, and I understand you can do it. We do it all the time, but just know that, that if you want to do this, you're going to have to you know, apply and get that phone number. You can get a new number. You can use your existing number. Tie that to your business so you land on phones. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to uh, use use text messaging. And I'm not going to go into the weeds here. Uh, we can go down a rabbit hole later, trust me. But um, so that's SMS and text marketing. Now, swinging over to email marketing regulation, that's called the CAN Spam Act compliance. It basically means you have to set up a new sending domain tied to your business with proper DNS records. Okay. Um, you've probably seen emails from uh, if you if you are s uh, excuse me if you are StayFi partners and you do use StayFi I'm sure you guys have seen um, those emails that they send out that's doing you a favor.
okay? They don't have to do that. That is step-by-step -step instructions that Ivan and an author and the team have put together so you can navigate these waters a little bit better. So it, it, it only requires a reconfig of some web settings. It's no governing body. You don't have to apply for anything. You just make some changes, confirm those changes work, and confer everything works you know, outside of those changes as well. So again, um, just know these have to be completed before you can even land on a phone or in an inbox, okay? Uh, and this is huge, guys. This is huge for people um, who were in SMS and email marketing and for those folks that want to get into email and SMS marketing. Why? Because the vast majority of those who were doing text and or email marketing before these regulations, either A, don't know how to make these changes, or B, don't know how to apply for the SMS regulations and get approved through the governing body. So what does that mean? So that means this SMS or email campaigns that used to work will not work unless you have completed that checklist gauntlet and been approved. So that means the bar is higher for your competition, which means it's much easier for people that are doing this gold standard SMS and email marketing and get those approvals, it's much easier to stand out from the crowd. That's doing what most people aren't doing and beating your competitors and beating industry benchmarks by 700%. Okay. Now, um, because I saw it was challenging, it was challenging for me <laughs> whenever I tried to do this myself. And, and so it's, it's challenging for other people do to do this as well. Um, again, you can do this. I did it. Other people do it all the time. But because it is a challenge for people, we've created a way at GoSDR Marketing to help because I just felt that it doesn't have to be that hard and it doesn't have to be that expensive, okay? Um, I want to help my fellow STR operators increase their revenue. That is my goal as a, as a person. So, you know, I created this for my own STR business over a year ago. And while I was doing this, the main objective was to make this intuitive and easy to use after I got through. So I would keep doing it. So I had this in mind. So I was building it out for my VA team to run on a daily basis, completely autonomously. Okay. And to this day, I just give them my SOPs. I provide SOPs to our clients um, that, that they can share with their team and they just handle it. Um, it. You know, we teach them how we teach your team how to be self-sufficient after we launch. It's super easy. It's literally just an app. You can see all the bullet points here. Um, but honestly, for me, what is it really? It's that set of systems, processes, procedures after checkout that were a gap in my business. But now I've created a revenue generating process from that gap. So I closed the gap and I created a way to generate more revenue. It's a plug and play automated marketing system uh, that runs on autopilot for you. And all you have to do is reply to guest inquiries, literally. It's, it's very similar to automated PMS messaging. Um, it's, you get started in three easy steps. I'm telling you, it's, it's super simple because I wanted to make that super simple. And it's fairly quick compared to any other um, marketing campaign or partnership out there. So basically uh, you get started, you upload your info. It's a web form. You already know this stuff. It's all in your uh, guidebooks already. And it's just business, simple, you know, market information. After you do that, we get started working on your campaign. We apply for the A2P for you. We set your DNS up for you. We do all of that. You don't even have to think about it. A couple of weeks later, um, we're there to message you to say, hey, look, it's time to look and improve your campaign. Let us know what comments you have so we can go back and make those changes. After you let us know that, a couple of weeks later, we've made those changes, made those changes, and now we are ready to launch and you are ready to go. So, you know, everything moves like it's supposed to. Um, within four to six weeks, you're, uh, you know, if you reply and, and get that data to us, we turn it around. We've got a 24 hour SLA to get started. Um, we're done in four to six weeks. So. All right, let's see a little demo here. Ivan, can you uh it up? So this is the 
demo from a host or co-host perspective. So like what it looks like whenever we market for our clients. The look and feel, the conversation thread. And it's just the app, you can share the app uh, with as many team members as you'd like. It's included in the onboarding phase with no app. Uh, so what we do is our first big blast, we go back and as far as we can, and your state we aggregate, collect all that data, and then we market to those people. And that's what you just saw. Okay, all the people filtering. And then after that first big loss, every two weeks, we access your PMS and stay by and we great scrub and import your contacts every two weeks new guests. So new guests are constantly being filtered into the campaign. Good deal. So uh, this is uh, what it has done for me uh, in my SDR business and my family, uh, as well as others. So, you know, the chart right here is a screenshot I took when reporting on my own SDR business a few weeks ago. Uh, like literally, it's a, I wish it's as pretty as it gets, but it's just, I use owner res. And um, basically, uh, you know, this is an ADR. As you can see the arrow right here, it's an ADR report and uh, the circles uh, on top. So this is comparing my Airbnb ADR versus my direct booking site ADR. So this is so far this year, uh, well, I guess it was January to, to um, as you can see on the left, it's January to April, but um, my direct booking site ADR doubled Airbnb ADR so far this year. And so um, the reason is people are responding to my after checkout messages and wanting to book a year in advance, that same place, okay? I have far out premiums set up in Price Labs. And you know, as you know, direct bookings are more profitable because we aren't losing three to 5% on OTAs. So those are high revenue bookings that are more profitable. Um, last October, uh, just a quick story right here personally, like my direct booking revenue doubled Airbnb and VRBO combined, okay? Uh, and I'm usually Airbnb is the high top revenue producer than Verbo than my direct booking site. Well, I totally flipped it uh, last October, but look, that's just me. I'm the guy who made it. You shouldn't, you know, why should you believe me? Right. So uh, you can believe the folks uh, right here that posted on social media. These were completely um, un. Uh, I didn't request this. This was just on their own on the top left here. Jen did uh, over $5,000 in direct booking revenue in her slow season in less than a month from launching with us, all direct bookings, okay? Uh, Daryl, right here, he's a coach. Uh, he says it's easy, uh, the value's a no-brainer. And Kyle, I love Kyle, man. Uh, Kyle got a co-host agreement out of this because a realtor stayed at his property, okay? And she received a message and referred him to a client that was buying a ranch and he wanted to STR the ranch. So she made that connection. So others, have been approached with co-host leads. I have been also myself. So, you know, whenever I started this, you know, way back when, I didn't even imagine it could not only gain me rebooking revenue, but also co-host leads. So it's just people notice that you're a professional operator and that you have your stuff together. So, um, <clears throat> thanks. And so guys, like really rounding it out right here. Um, this is what we're doing for May. Uh, if, if you think this can help you, I know it has. Uh, all of our clients know it has. All of our monthly clients are, are renewing. So that's a really good sign. Um, <clears throat> but what we're doing this month, annual subscriptions are on sale starting at $183 per month. And this is huge, okay? With a money back guarantee, okay? So if you don't cover your costs and increase your revenue a year from first launching, we will refund your annual subscription, okay? Here's the one catch, <laughs> is that you have to be responsible to your guests. So the deal is only valid 
as long as you answer at least 90% of your guest inquiries, because I promise you, you will get people replying back. A lot of people, the, the responses are, are just inundating that, that they have a tough time getting back to those folks. Uh, but look, you know, I give out SOPs. If you stick to that SOP, you're going to be fine. Share it with your team. Um, it's just, you know, some folks don't reply to guest inquiries in, in the next steps to book. I can go in and my system and see them. So, uh, you know, it, it's easy, right? We, ju we just can't be responsible for our clients not responding to their guests. So another thing we're doing, uh, Marketing May, is that we're extending 12-month subscriptions to 15 months. And that's for the same price. So that equates to more than a 25% discount on annual subscriptions, plus a 5% discount coupon if you use the code STAYFI at checkout. Um, we are fully integrated with StayFi now. You can check it, check us out in their uh, partner uh, portal. So, uh, and that's only valid on annual purchases though, okay? So uh, you can do month to month. There's a six month term on the uh, monthlies, but you know, if you'd like to go monthly after that, after six months, you can cancel if you want. I don't know why you would, but if, uh, after that you go month to month and you can cancel anytime. So another thing to note, messaging rates. Uh, so just as any marketing platform, uh, messaging rates do apply, and those are separate from our subscription. So you only pay the standard messaging rates for uh, what you send. So if you, uh, so excuse me, so we will pay one month's messaging rates for every friend you refer, for every friend you refer that subscribes. Okay, so there's no limit to that. So if you refer 12 friends, we'll cover 12 months of your messaging costs, okay? Um, and just to give you an idea what messaging costs typically run, like with us, it's about 1,000 messages per month, costs 50 to 75 bucks. So just know that. Um, Go STR Marketing, again, is an email and SMS rebooking campaign. There's no social media yet, but we are boosting our client's social media presence to help their potential guests and their investors discover their hospitality brands across Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we're doing this by showcasing their portfolio in a series we're calling Go STR Live. And so we're creating something that our clients can share across their social media outlets as well. So um, uh, it, it's pretty crazy <laughs> we're doing this, but I know it works and um, it's having a positive impact. So if you want to take advantage of our mind blowing <laughs> uh, marketing may offer uh, on the right, just follow these three steps right here. Uh, you can also set up a demo. I got a couple more spots open this month. Uh, we'd love to help you build your guest loyalty using the gold standard of rebooking campaigns. So, you know, again, kind of going back to the beginning here, tying it up, putting a bow on it. Why do we do this from a guest perspective? Why do we want guests coming back? Why do we use this gold standard rebooking campaign? Because we need to make it easy for guests to rediscover and seamlessly reconnect with hosts they love. Because every guest needs a tailored, authentic experience that celebrates their loyalty and being a good guest. You know, and, and then from an operator's perspective, why do we need to do this? Uh, we need to make it easy on ourselves, guys. I mean, really you know, we need to have an easy automated way to increase occupancy and turn that one-time guess into a lifelong rebooker with loyalty that they don't look anywhere else. Like they use our vacation homes as their vacation homes. Okay. So, you know, just stay aligned with your why. Um, it, it helps your guests and yourself. So that's, um, that's all I really have, Ivan. So I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, just, uh, to wrap it up, before we jump into Q&A, uh, also, if you are, if you're a Go STR customer and you want to try out StayFi, as, as Sam just mentioned, we're fully integrated. So all the guest data you collect from Wi-Fi with StayFi, you can seamlessly transfer it to uh, Go STR. So you have even a larger audience to reach with all this amazing uh, method that Sam just shared. Uh, you can use Go STR for 50% off the first three months. Uh, with that, I'm just going to, open it up for questions. If there are any, you can just give them on the Q&A Q &A box down here in the Zoom. We're just gonna give it like one or two minutes to see if someone has anything. 
Uh, if not, we can just wrap it up. Let's just wait a couple of minutes. Okay. Looks like we took awesome. care of all the questions, Ivan. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was a very thorough presentation. Thanks so much um, for joining us. Uh, thanks, everyone, uh, for attending. Uh, this will be, this was recording and will be posted on uh, YouTube. Uh, so if you want to revisit anything, just feel free to drop by there. Thanks so much. Have a good one.